you know i was dragged like i was dragged when i say dragged i mean i was dragged but some people even call me what least Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, I'm Athena and I'm a medical doctor in Jamaica. Today is going to be my first day. I took a year off, so today is my first day back as a medical officer of health and I'm going to take you along. I woke up in the middle of the night at 5 a.m. so I can go to work. Don't mind how my face is looking. I'm just extremely tired. Last night my husband had to work so I was at home alone with the babies and then I have to go to work early this morning. So yes, I'm tired. I was just making sure that all Zenaya supplies are in our bag because it's also the morning for back to school. I pack her lunch kit before I leave because I just want everything to be in place. After I was done doing that, I went ahead and I made porridge for her and her brother. And then I pumped some milk so I could leave. I'm doing a little bit of makeup this morning because it's the first day and I look like a wreck because I'm so exhausted. So I'm just trying to cover all of that up with some makeup. I love this eyebrow gel that I bought from Shein, like it's really nice. I then packed some breakfast, which is just peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Time to do my hair. My hair was washed like two days ago and I just rolled it up because I didn't want to have to flat iron it so I prefer it to have some curls. And then I'm just going to pin those curls out of my face because I know I'm going to be sweating and it's just going to be a mess by midday. I left out at 6 a.m. in the morning and the roads were already congested. Like it's just so crazy to me how many persons are out this early. Okay guys, so I made it. I am um, very early. It's now eight minutes to six to seven and I was supposed to be here for 8.30. But if you know anything about driving in Jamaica, you know that it's either you're extremely early or you're extremely late, like you get caught in traffic. So to avoid all of that traffic and the chaos because summer is over, so kids are in school and that school traffic ain't no joke. So to avoid that, I just came extremely early. I'm just going to eat my breakfast now and just, you know, prepare myself mentally. I brought my coffee with me because I am so exhausted. <laughs> I need something to lift me up. So I'm finished eating and I'm just going to talk about something. Now, when I posted on the internet that I was going to be a stay at home mom, I'm at home, you know, I was dragged. Like I was dragged. When I say dragged, I mean I was dragged. And for various reasons people have different points of view there's some persons who understood what was happening but then there are persons who just couldn't understand like try to shame me basically because i wasn't working and you know it was a personal year that i took because i took it for my mental health and i also took it because i knew i was going to have a baby so i was like this is the plan we take a year off i have my baby and i just take this break at the time i know personally that i wanted to work in primary health care because I need to have some structure in my household. Like my husband, his job is like, he works different hours. So I wanted something that was more stable so that we have a little bit of stability, right? So I didn't want a job like where I had to do like 
32 hour shifts because like i couldn't manage just leaving my baby for so long you know so that kind of influenced my decision and how i navigated after i finished my period of sho so yeah but you know um people some people even call me worthless and tell me lazy and this and that which is so far from the truth um i actually knew that after my year was up i was going to get her work and then there were the persons who thought that you know my husband gone left me and becoming our work i'm not gonna have nothing what the fuck but it's like it's so funny how people can assume things about a person's life and don't really know what is happening because you only see a little snip of everything but anyways yeah so around june i started sending out like mass applications because i knew i was going to go back to work and to be honest i sent it to three the three health departments that is in my region one that was my parish and i wanted to get into that parish second to a parish that was neighboring my parish i never have any hopes of getting into that parish because it's like a lot of persons want to work in that parish and I just feel it's very competitive. They hardly ever need people. So I never thought I would land in that parish. I didn't apply to the parish that was even further away. Um, my husband was like, Gina, you're going to work that far? And I'm like, you know, it was just a thing where because I have, when I was working as a teacher, I had the capacity. I was in the capacity where I used to interview new hires it's like i know that if your resume is too blank like there's a gap in your resume it makes it a little more difficult for you to get a job and that is the reason why i just wanted to get my foot in and just do something you know i know the traveling would have been a lot but i heard of other persons doing it and it wasn't the best but at least i'll be working and not just at home and have that big gap in my resume so i applied and the parish that I live in, the SMO actually called me and she was like saying to me, like, we really don't have any space. So you'd have to do like sessions until space is open up. And I was like, damn, <laughs> that was disappointing. And then um, I also applied to accident and emergency because accident and emergency is something that I could do because it shifts. So it's not as bad because you don't have those long hours. So I consider that as well. And I actually like accident and emergency as well. So I was considering that and I applied. Um, surprisingly, the parish that's next door to me, they called me and gave me an interview. When I was going to the interview, I was like, okay, I'm pre I prepare myself, but <laughs> I'm not expecting anything. And when I went to the interview, I thought the interview was pretty good, but I still was not expecting anything because there was a lot of persons there. And I just know that this parish is very competitive. But anyways, I finished the interview like 12.30 and then like 4.30, they called me to say that, hey, you got the job, carrying your documents when i heard that i was like so excited because i'm like okay i'm going to get a job but then after i dropped off my documents not even a week later i dropped off all my documents i was at home a month passed and i heard nothing anyways i'd applied to other places like accident and emergency at two major hospitals so when i got a call like i got called for interview I was like, you know what? I'm going to do these interviews because I don't know what is happening. I really don't know. Every time I call, they're like, oh, your job has not been approved. And I'm like, is it a case where it can, they can just change their mind and not approve me? So I didn't know what to do because I'm like, my only other option is to go to the hospital and work in any. &E. And I don't know. So anyways, come the day of the interview, my husband had to stay at work the night. And that was crazy. I couldn't get anybody to watch the babies the next morning. And I was like, oh my God. So I missed the interview. And it was so sad because this was my plan B. So if plan A fall through, I was hoping that I would have this option open. But anyways, like sometimes you just have to trust God. Because later that day, I got the call that my work was approved. And I was going to start like a couple days after. And I'm like y'all could have called me earlier so i had to rush to prepare everything and it was in back to school time so i had to rush to like prepare everything to get myself ready mentally i never even shop for work clothes because and most of my clothes they can't fit me because i had after I had the baby i just got a bigger so i had to shop for work clothes there's so many things i had to do but anyways i did it and i'm here 
I'm excited, but I'm also nervous because I don't know where they're going to send me as yet. Like, how it works is that you get a job in the parish, but they can send you at any health center in the parish. And some of them can be really far, so I'm hoping that they're two closest to me. There are two that are close, closer to me, and I'm hoping that I get one of those two. But I'll update you at the end, guys, if I did. <laughs> Like, um, I'm not too disappointed about it because I'm actually considering, like, wherever I'm placed, probably get a school closer to there and send an eye. So, we'll see. Like, I'm just trusting God and trusting the process because he must, he must know why he placed me in this parish versus the parish that I live in. And Onif is so excited because... He has his own plans too but yeah guys that's it so i'm just waiting for the time to come so i can go in and get the orientation over with this was my outfit of the day and i know i look so cute and this is my office that i'll be working from the ac doesn't work that sucks but life goes on So I made it home <laughs> yeah I'm so happy that I made it home I left work at 4 because that's when work ends and I reached home like 4 39 I was kind of surprised because I thought it was going to take longer but I'm happy I'm hoping that it continues like this because when I want to reach home then by 6 o'clock I was there anyways it was good I'm placed at an L center that's not too far from me um not the closest but it's not too far and Everyone there just seems so nice and I love that because trust me, the people that you work around makes a whole body different. So I'm excited. I saw patients today, but not a lot. So tomorrow will be my first real day and I'll take you along again. Anyways, guys, that's it for my video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell notification. Until next time, peace out.